mournful sound of a Maori blowing into a conch shell drifted over those marking a year since a devastating earthquake rocked Christchurch. We remember those of our loved ones who have passed beyond the valley. More than 10,000 gathered for a memorial ceremony in a city park. Members of the emergency services, those who were injured, and people grieving for their nearest and dearest who were killed. This is a year like no other that we have ever experienced in this place, and it's not an easy time for a lot of people. It's still a difficult time, and we acknowledge that. There are many unknowns. There are questions still to be answered. Suburbs to be rebuilt, a city to be rebuilt. Those who could stand did so, some with bowed heads, many in tears, as police officers and firefighters read out the names of victims. Jane Marie Albert. Yuki Hamasaki. Jiling Han. There was two minutes of silence at 12.51 p.m., the minute the magnitude 6.1 quake struck. And children released 185 monarch butterflies, one for each person who died. Japanese student Mayumi Asakawa rang a peace bell for her fellow international classmates, dozens of them lost in the collapse of the Canterbury Television Building. A separate memorial service was held for them as well. A special sculpture sat in pride of place before the altar. And people tossed flowers into the River Avon for remembrance. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.